Hello, everyone. And welcome to another episode, sorry, welcome to a brand new series of The Sims 4. We're going to focus on the Ooh. life of a certain male character. Mm -hmm. So, let's get him started, shall we? Right. I'm going to make him athletic. Athletic ah. will have to be athletic. Uh -huh. Make him cheerful. <laughs> oh, happy I am. Oh, Speedo. Did he just say Speedo? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to make him a foodie because then... Ooh. That would take away Bunty. him being athletic. Let's sort his face out first. Looks like we've got a, a larger colour palette here. <laughs> right, skin details. I think I've just sorted out his actual face, his hair. Right. No, oh, we'll keep his hair short, actually. Right. Oh, look at this. We've got more choices of hats. That's, um, which type of hat should I put him in? Well, a conductor's hat would have been nice. What the heck? Well, we're going to go for a brimless hat. Or maybe we're not going to go for a hat at all. Oh, there's something to say. I haven't sorted his eyes out. Let's remove those. So apparently you cannot sort. Oh. 
eyes out through glasses. And now... It's time to sort out his clothing. Let's go to his body. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna look quite strange with blue skin, but you know. Right. Let's just go for the full body suits. <sighs> that's formal. I say that's a little more formal. Okay, uh athletic. Is that all? Okay, his sleepwear. Hmm. Give him a blue dressing gown. His party wear. Ah! And again, we want full body party wear. And swimwear. Well, that goes without saying. So, for his everyday wear, that, wait, that doesn't look appropriate for him, so... And shoes. And there you go, basically. No, you can't put a funnel on his head. But if you want to go for a styled look... I don't think any of these would be appropriate. So, no. Ah, Pelka de Barsp. So, we'll just leave him like this. Okay. Now, we need to pick a neighbourhood for him to move into. Let's move him into Newcrest. Well, we'll pick a house from the gallery. Oh, that's what I call home. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, though, it's too much for him. That's a shame. Let's go to community then. And... It's actually a lot I'm looking for. 
So let's go to the lots. Wow. Look at all these. Uh, Whoa. Oh my. Okay, the lots are unavailable while moving. So... We have to move them in there. And hopefully... go because he's got nowhere to live at the moment now we can go to the lot we want so I have actually saved these two lots Uh, that didn't work. Um, well, we need to find a home for him. What's Mondern House? Right. Let's see if we can find Okay. We can't actually do that. Because unfortunately, we don't have Well, maybe we'll be able to have one of the ones that isn't Maxis curated. Let's see. This one looks nice. Ah, uh, fine. I've just been looking at that one. Guess we'll just have to build him a house. Right, here we go. So let's get building. There's going to be a home for one first. 
So first of all, you need some living space. Okay, now he needs a kitchen. Nothing too fancy. So we'll just put this little kitchenette in for him. There you go. And he needs a bathroom. Again, nothing too fancy. We'll put the bathroom on. This end of the house. But it needs to be connected to the house, doesn't it? Oh, right. I see my mistake now. If I do that, they won't be able to get in. to the living room unless we put the door on this side okay right on this side we're gonna put a bedroom and yes eventually there will be more than one person living here but we put the bedroom right next to the kitchen. Okay. Now, oh, this might actually be too expensive of a house for the fella to move into. What we want to do now is at the back of the house, put a little dining room. Maybe one big enough for... No, we can't. Okay. Can we put a study in? Yeah, we can. We're not too extravagant with it. Okay, now we just have to connect it. In the best way we can. Except, how is the fella supposed to Sit down to his study. There we go. If it's facing that way. Right. The essentials are going to come.
we want it to be prepared for the eventuality of having kids, but we can't do that right now. Oh my. Okay. I get it. We're going to bulldoze a lot and start again. So. Put a large living room in for him. Then we want to put the kitchen on that side. So let's just buy the room. Let's connect it up and rotate. Rotate again, so the entrance to the kitchen connects with the living room. Right, a bathroom. We'll put that on this side of the house this time. No need for a dining room. Oh no, it's not the usual place to have a bathroom. But, uh, hang on a minute. Maybe if we rotate it. So the door's on that side, that way, it's not right behind a wall. <laughs> right, now he needs somewhere to sleep, doesn't he? A bedroom. No. We're not upgrading to one that size yet. It says the man putting in a big bedroom. Right. Now, rather than putting a study in, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Go objects by room. Study. I'm going to put a computer in at the back of the living room. That way it's a lot easier to access. And there, I may say, you have it. Right, now I just realised he needs a front door. 
So <laughs> if we go back here, Okay, it's a rather odd spot to enter a house from, but there you go. He also needs windows so he can see out. There's no one has ever heard of a windowless house. No, we don't want peeping Toms looking in on people using the toilet. <laughs> oh no, we don't want that. Okay. And you're ready for a living, boy. So here we go. Thomas D's new skill in fitness will allow him to perform various workouts on the workout equipment. As the skill level increases, more advanced exercise routines will become available. I knew there was something I was missing. He hasn't got a home gym. Right. Is there... a chance of maybe building something? Oh dear. Maybe not now. So anyway. You need some time to get moved in. And that, my friends, will be that. Jasmine Holiday. You need to go and meet some neighbors. Tibs, Shefanaz Nabim Rabaza, Sarde Ya Libshigo.
Where is she? Does she know where the door, the front door is? That's really in a rather strange place. Okay. Get him a job. Otherwise, how does he expect to be able to make the money to pay bills when he needs to and stuff? There you go. And the day on sim time at the moment is a Sunday. to meet people in order to do this. So... Obviously that would be me. So now we need to go off and meet new people. Which we just do here. Travel. And he's travelling on his own because there's no one to travel with. Let's go and see who we can find. Okay, we're going to travel from our world. To Willow Creek. Where 
I don't think there's anybody living, so why didn't I just move him in here? No, see, no one lives there. Huh? What am I doing? Right, I'm gonna move him in here. Forget you, Chris. Huh? I think I might regret that later. Because there'll be nothing to his taste in here. Uh, considering the fact that I can't afford any of the lots here, so, no. But, uh, Probably I'm, I'm going to take him back to his own neighbourhood. Because there's nothing in here. So I'm going to take him back to his own neighbourhood. And I'm going to put him back in his own home. There we go. Really? I'm gonna put in an order for holiday crackers? Okay. A single serving. He needs something to eat. And that is where we're going to end this episode. And go off and build the rest of the neighborhood. Until then. Thomas D's new skill in cooking will allow him to prepare delicious straightforward classics. Yum! The higher the skill level, the more recipes become unlocked.
Until then, guys. See ya. Hello, guys, and welcome to the second episode of Life of Thomas. Now, I've just moved him to a bigger neighbourhood, so he'll actually have people to go out and meet. But before that, I need to get him his old job back. So there you go. Hmm. And no. <sighs> that is the job he's supposed to be in. Because of the build I've given him. Okay. Now of course I've made him a home for a single man. And, yes, you will see why. <laughs> right, for now I'm just going to have him travelling elsewhere in this neighbourhood so he can go off and meet people so he can make friends. So first, all the barracks are in. Let's send him to meet them. Okie dokie. Actually, he needs to knock on the front door first and wait for someone to come and let him in. There doesn't appear to be uh, anyone in. There you go. Now we uh, take the walls down. Oh, yeah, because they have to enter this house through the bathroom. Whoops. <laughs> right. Alright, go on, come and introduce yourself. Who are you going to start with? How about... Ah, 
Ay, en Abby. Dag. Oh yeah, okay. walk away from a fam a friendly introduction. That that's polite. <laughs> it can't really do much if uh No, no, you want them to be friendly with you, so you can't be rude to them when you're introducing yourself, but Roscoe here doesn't look like he's in a ready state to receive anyone, so... For noise. Olaba, Flurbus. Who else does he need to introduce himself to? He hasn't introduced himself to me properly yet, has he? So... <laughs> Let's go more choices. Friendly. Okay. Um... It's not time to go hugging anyone just yet. Because you don't know them. So... Oh, tell a joke about vampires. Sounds funny. Or... You could follow Millie into the kitchen and, uh... Oh no, she's gone into the empty kids' room to do her press to do her sit up. And of course, I'm not playing this mm. family at the moment, so. Mm. Friendly introduction to Millie, you need to do this to all the family members. From us. If you want to become friends with them. Oh. Ah, so so. You want to add them to your phone book? But whatever you do, don't flirt with her. Compliment the house. Right. Get to know. You have to get to know them before you can become their friend. <laughs> so, Thomas, what are you waiting for? Let's get... Mm. I wouldn't tell her a gross joke if <laughs> I were you. Thomas D has learned the following trait about James. Fearful. Thomas D is more skill in charisma and allow him... <laughs> Get to know Millie. Well, that's good. So you're learning things about them. But you need to get to know... Hello. 
What's, what, what's going on here? Oh, Romana, you naughty girl. Anyway, that's not the story here. Okay, it's time to get to know Roscoe. Huh, Cleavar? Friendly. Uh, more choices. Where is it? Get to know. That's what you come round here to do. Get to know the family. Lily's in bed. So you're not going to get to meet her yet. Yourself to Romana. Because you haven't done that yet. <laughs> Lily's up. Okay. Now, before you get to know anyone else, you need to use the toilet. And he needs to get himself energized. Because he's tired. But if he's gonna do that, we'll send him home to his own bed. So go home. Maybe we'll bring the Barrett over to him. <laughs> what <Wadida>. did <laughs> If we can just get him to go home, oh wait, he wants to be energized. Uh, we should have just had him going for a kip on the sofa. Anyway, he's going back to his own home now, and I'm going to send him to bed. He still needs to introduce himself to the rest of the neighbourhood that exists here, including the woman I want him to hook up with, so... I need to get her a job still, anyway. Okay, I I know you want to go to sleep. That's why I brought you home. So you're gonna go to sleep.
Does he have anyone in his phone book yet? Yeah, he does. Me and Romana. So... I guess... Wait, I'm coming over. Yep. That's definitely me coming to welcome him. And who's this? Oh! It's Clyde and Faye. <laughs> okay. Um, you can't exactly come to welcome him if he's asleep, can you? <laughs> no, come on. Oh, uh, in comes Millie, I believe that's her, no, it's Rose. Oh, perfect, I want him to hook up with her anyway. Okay, so neighbours are already turning up to welcome him and he's asleep. Right, so, let's speed up time. I'm sorry folks, but the person you're coming to welcome is asleep in bed. I can't exactly wake him. I have to, he's got to go to work. Jeez, Thomas, wake up! The welcome wagon's leaving. No. Right, they're leaving. Well, wow. good going, Thomas, asshole. You've just lost a potential group of friends. Now, get up, you've got to go to work. You want to lose your job as well? Thomas, wake up. He's got to have something to eat, right. Let's see if I can get him to cook himself something to eat. Cook. Uh, scrambled eggs and bacon, one serving. Oh, come on, you've pushed away your welcome wagon. It's time for work, you idiot. I can't get him out of bed. Look, go to work. Go to work. Too early for you to take vacation time. Right, we're going to have to call it here for this episode, guys. 
because the lazy ass Thomas won't get out of bed. So that's next time, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him to do what we wanted him to do. Until then, bye. And welcome to another episode of The Life of Thomas on The Sims 4. This is the third episode. And we see right where we left off Thomas making himself something to eat. Oh crap! Oh, oh, so shunig! There you go. And um, how about? Drinking an energy juice for yourself. Shazzle Basaga. It's too early for this man to die. And I think I might need to change his outfit. So let's put him in his formal wear. Okay, now... I haven't given him a shower! Oh no! Quick, alert! I have enough to put one in for him. So that's objects by room. Bathroom. Oh, come on. Right. I can't put a shower in for him. So, I'm going to have to expand the room so I can fit one in. If I can. Alright, shower or bathtub? Shower then. Alright, come on. And now we can go back to living. But he needs to have a shower, see? After being sinned. After being singed by that fire, he's very tense and he needs a wash. But then I need to have him making friends after this. So I'm gonna hope someone stops by. There you go. So sorry about that, Thomas. We'll just turn that off for now. La 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 la. Thank so. Right. So now I've done this as a house for a single person. But I'm gonna stretch out the bedroom enough to put a a double bed in. So we can sell this. Go to the bedroom and put a bed for two in. There you go. 
Because now that means either one of them can ask each other to come and live with them when the time comes. <sighs> Ringlar yeets the bottom. There you go. We'll clean that up. But he does need something to eat. Let's see if I can get him a quick meal. Uh. Give him a bowl of cereal, that way he can't burn himself again. So... Well, he would be feeling tense after nearly killing himself, wouldn't he? So... Very few people he knows. I actually need to send him out to meet more people. He's energized now, so. Rose is asleep, so I'm just going to send him out on his own to carry on meeting people because he hasn't met nearly enough of the neighborhood yet. He's met most of the Barrow family, but he hasn't met all of them. He needs to befriend everyone who lives in the neighborhood at the moment. Uh, going by his friends list, he still needs to meet everyone in the all the residents. As well. 
That's because there are doors around this side of the house. There you go. So, who does he still have for me? <laughs> Lily. Oh, Tuska. Ah, Kim New. Friendly introduction. <laughs> oh, he's earning more rewards while he's doing this. Ah. 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 More choices. Uh, get to know. Cheap of the Roy. Sambo Yelps? Default. Pana Harnip. Yanabi. Well, you know. Gorsha Tabar. Meme. Azul. Orsha. Weezer. It doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> okay, so we now go. From here, while he's in a good mood, let's take him to meet the next door neighbours. I should have had him travelling. Whoops. So yes, I wish to play as him. But I should have had him travelling to the next residence.
because I actually should have had him doing this if I wanted him to go off and me on the mouth. Let's go! Skeebs Zapula, huh? So now he's going to meet the first of the three person households. Okay. So we are actually helping him now to progress with making friends. So still feels tense though. Well, that's because he's nearly burnt himself and his house down. So introduce the Clyde. And to Faye. And to... where is she? Oh, there she is. Ugh, a re -nuck. And to Harper. Jack! Dag dag. That's like Harper's getting ready for uh, school. Yep. I'm a bit late to introduce myself to her. Gownin. Uh huh. Yes, and our pliffa. Uh. Conqueroo Bima. Mapiro. Huh. Uh, don't be rude. Antrim. They won't thank you for Uru that. Shinisi Bafang. Oh. Yabasane? Mm. Hmm. Huh, the Gorba. <laughs> and put the same option uh -huh. in for. Huh. Shellner. <laughs> Gungane. Sensibi oh. Kiniku. Swarspa. Gathara. Uh uh. Abini? Huh. Woibe. <laughs> I need to give Clyde an instrument. <laughs> but anyway, Okay, he's tired. 
know what we're gonna do? Huh. Vapen, hmm. Bachi, Smeggo, Instead of sending him home, oh. <laughs> he's gonna nap on the sofa. Okay. Sure. He's uh, really huh. sleep in his own bed. <sighs> Gone, Flurba, Zomzo. Storn of flame. Oh, yibs. They too have a mailbox inside their house. Okay, so it looks like the Send them back to his. He's not there still. I've just sent him home though.
Okay, Mr. Tense. What do you want to do? Hey, I thought I told you to go home. Obviously. There you go. So what do you want to do, Mr. Tense? Have a bath or a shower? You've got a bed. It's here. Alright, what? Do you want to go to sleep? Is that it? Okay. When does work start for him? 24 hours. So we'll call it here for this episode. Uh, join me next episode. As we try to hook him up with Rose. Until then, bye. Hi guys, and okay. welcome to another episode of The Sims 4's The Life of Thomas. <laughs> this is episode 4, and we are now going to try and score a date with Rose. <laughs> So, what do we know so far? We know she's single. And... Hey, let's give her a heartfelt compliment. Not quite. Let's try not to confuse the old fellow. And... Samson, no thanks. <laughs> Tuga. Nasine Pafarbol. Poi. Obero. You had a velk. It's boy. Tokibu. See what? Fadish. And he's falling asleep again. We need to keep him busy. <laughs> oh, Laba. Right. So. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, we'll ask if she's single again. We've, we've done Kabuna's the player way. tour. Kabuni. Ah. Yes, yeah, she is single. Okay. <laughs> this might not work straight away. Ah, <laughs> Yanabi. Okay, let's like we are going on a date. Except for this, we need to be traveling really to a different neighborhood. Let's just take them to a nightclub in Willow Creek. So here we are. So socialise with your date. So first of all we need to get them to come and sit down. So sit together. Now they need to socialise. So... Well, we don't need to ask if she's single. So, to socialise, let's have him using a pickup line. Let's see if that's enough. For Doba. For Jane. In <laughs> Well, it's not, because you need to do it ten times. Oh, it is zook. It is so, zook. let's have both sense oh. play with each other. Uh, and they need to kiss yeah. once. <laughs> So that's the first kiss, because they haven't kissed yet. There we go. should be that taken care of. to be more sociable because we need to do that ten times. So do an impression. This should be falling under socialization. Well now we need to do that eight more times now. Well that should fall under both categories again. Give your date a massage. Oh ho Yips Yips Tambra Okay, so it's 
Just to take a massage. What do we do for that? It's getting. <laughs> Can we do that on the list again? Embrace. Would that count? No, that's... It's socialization. So, okay, to give the date a massage... I'm not sure... What that falls under, but you know... Friendly, maybe? No. Uh, romance. What are we doing? Where are we? Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't see us anywhere. Hey! Hey, Thomas, you miserable bastard! Where's your girlfriend? <laughs> no, no, you're not going to sleep on your date, you lazy asshole. Right, Rose? Oh, there you are. We're suddenly not interested in each other anymore. Right. Uh, romance. Chris. Ask to be girlfriend. There's obviously. I think actions might be to give the date a massage. Nooch? Yes. Ah, Sua! Ah, Fania! Yes. <laughs> Mr. Alderoy. Okay. Uh, free knock. Now, is. Zip dudes. Uh huh. Plimba. Oh, Miss Dell. Right, kiss. Ah, oh, Jima. <laughs> Swack. Okay, that's that goal complete. That's the main goal. Shmeez. Hey. How you boo? Action. Joy, go nip. No. How do you give the date a massage then? Doing more choices. Dag dag. More choices again. Romance. No. No. Uh. It's too early to propose yet. We've only just begun a relationship. Okay. So, okay, come and be funny with her. You gotta do two more jokes. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank 
tell me for a beckon with you. Don't a baby. Oh, me, but don't a baby. I'm a requat. Oh, Tom, 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 you're not very good at this, are you? Where is she? Oh, there they are. My well, time's running out for you guys. I'm not going to have enough time to do all of this in. I, I don't know how to give her a massage. Come here, Bouchard Flassel. Fool. Oh, baby Jordan. That a gross joke. Well, the day's oh, over so now. I don't, I don't so think awful. we can call that a success. Right, he wants to be romantic. Buddha. If you want to be romantic, <sighs> then come and be with your date, you idiot. Lefita is a noble. Come on, come and show her what she means to you. Why are they sitting at different tables from each other? Oi, right, come on. It's complete, and there's a silver medal on. Farben. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah, why not just have him do this? Placebo. Arpanada. Darza. On to McLaughlin. Oh, we can have them proposing now if we want, but... One thing at a time... Shouldn't we be asking her to move in first? Okay, whatever. Okay, we've rushed into this, but there you go. Loads immediately. 
it's uh, Legenza. Okay. Boom. <laughs> so I don't really have an, that many friends or family to invite. That's them living together now. There we go. to send Children. Thomas home to his betrothed. And you would actually think that doing this would actually... Send them home, there you go. Oh dear. So I'm gonna play as Rose for a while. <laughs> oh. 
and <laughs> Profess Undying Love. Okay. Uh, woohoo. That's kind of thing Rose needs to do. She needs to claim her side of the bed. Charms. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> so they're gonna need a room for a little one, aren't they? Eventually. While they're doing that, I'll put in a bassinet. No, we can't put it by the door. Hang on a minute. Um, okay, we'll wait until they're done. <laughs> oh, soon <that. laughs> Fall asleep while woohooing, Thomas. Jeez. That's... Well, I'll tell you one thing I could do. It's in the space next to the parents' room. No. If I need space for a baby bassinet in the parents' room, expand it some more. And... Babies normally sleep in with the parents. Oh, oh, not yet. So he needs a toilet. Oh, no. Well, how oh, they got their married lives together. And while Rose is sleeping, that's her side of the bed right there. Just claim that for her. Uh -huh. There we go. Woohoo with Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'll say. Let's tuck a poor Rose out. But Thomas is very happy. Okay, so what was he doing? He was making himself a mac and cheese. So let's have him continuing with that. And we'll just leave Rose asleep. Ah, Larp. Success. Although the man here could do with a wash. <laughs> yeah, he can't do that unless I put a shower or a bathtub in the bathroom, can he? So, let's go to the bathroom. How it escaped me for that long, I'll never know. There we go. And we'll just turn that off. <laughs> now we do not want him to But what we do want is for him to take a steamy shower. <laughs> Turn the radio off. Hey, Kelna. So water. Look at him, he's dirty. <laughs> take a steamy shower. Kabili. Ah. Uh. He can't go through to his... Oh, come on. Zan <laughs> ahoy! Yadrozi watch. I'm trying to get him to take a steamy shower. And yet, he didn't seem to be going round to the bathroom. Where Benabe? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get him to take a brisk shower. Uh, he's me. thinking about going uh. to the bathroom, so... Why isn't he going there? Is it because the mailbox is in his way? Hold on. To make sure that's in no one's way, we'll put it at the front of the house. Oh, let's see if I can get him to go and take a shower. He's just standing there waving. Okay, can I get him to go to the toilet?
No, he's in the bathroom. Where All he needs to do is, is pop over <laughs> to the shower. Ha! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, okay. He's doing his press ups. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh! He's going in the pool. Mm -hmm. That pool is only big enough for one. Um. Good, good, you can expand it. So let's make it a bigger square. Now it's big enough for more than one person. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Swim and enjoy his laps. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me again. <laughs> now. Why is he screaming about death? What? Why? Now come on, Rose, think some happy thoughts. Looks dirty. Well, no, that's because there's still reflections in it. Okay. Dizzy. Okay, he needs to go to sleep. So we'll send him to bed. <laughs> Hopefully not as Rose is just about to wake up. <laughs> New <Newlands>. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yimbara. Ok, 
Okay, some of these people don't uh -huh. even have jobs yet. Huh. Right, here's what we're gonna do. Gonna try for a baby with Rose. Oh, Kinawa! <laughs> so I'm gonna see if a red sim and a blue sim doing this will produce mm. a purple baby. <laughs> doing in there? Oh! Has he just sculpted something? Ah, no, because he doesn't have a workshop. What a silly, what a silly thing for me to think. Oh, she's going in the shower. I see Rose goes to the shower, but Thomas doesn't. Let us see what this one. To do the try for a baby thing. <laughs> try for a baby thing. trying to get him to do this. And sleep with his wife, can't he? Whew. Okay. If that's not it. Oh no, hang on, he's coming. Shall be if <laughs> your ib. Now oh, before he passes out again, I think he needs to actually go to sleep properly. <laughs> New lids. napping on the sofa. In that case, I'll oh, better play as Rose for a bit. Mm. Huh? Right. Does she have a job yet? 
because it would help if she did. Danica! <laughs> Jorby! Yeah, she has a job. She's an assistant dishwasher. Huh. And she's got work in four hours. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, to help her better prepare for that, she needs to be focused, so she needs to prepare some food. So let's have a making a mac and cheese. That's not what her idea of a meal is. And I'm going to have her making a single serving of this. <laughs> right, Thomas is awake. Vineka! <laughs> Jorby! Well, you can't really be doing this if you've got to be getting ready for work. And Thomas, he's got work in the next day, in sim time. Okay, Rose, it's your time to shine. She's got work in the next two hours. So she needs to prepare a meal. Which is actually what I'm trying to get her to do. So... Ah, Thomas is at work. Okay. Um, Rose, why aren't you doing as I've told you? Put that phone down. And come and prepare yourself a meal. Although, she'll have to call in for family leave if the magic happens. Okay. Aliens? You sure? Huh. 
like an hour and I still haven't managed to get her to go out and cook anything. She needs a toilet. So I can get her to do this. And that's because she's not hungry right now, so you can't actually get her to eat anything if she's not hungry. Well, no, because um, Rose has got work in an hour. So you can't really come and hang out, can you? Shiroby! Shorg! <laughs> well, she can't make strings if she's not working in a bar. She seems to be more interested in socializing. Rose, do you need the toilet or not? Vineka, <laughs> Jorby. She's just standing there in one spot, waving. Okay, uh, we'll call it here for this episode. Uh, join me for the next episode soon. Until then, bye. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Life with uh, Life of Thomas. This is episode 5, and... We return to his residence. With Rose still here. But then she should be at work herself. Sinike! <laughs> Sawada! And she's still in the bathroom. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, she should pick it up. And she should be at work. Paniba Patona! No me! Sopa! Bumida Fueno! Mesca! Oh, yeah, now Rose. Please, Padrobo! Shunik! Watuni? You're missing work, you need to go. Come on, girl. Shiroby! Shorg! Rose? Oh, what did you say? Barlene, I'm to see what. Right. You're gonna have to come home early. We need to be re energized. So, I'm gonna grab him something to eat.
Let's get them fish tacos. He needs a shower himself. You're missing your shift. What are you going to bed for? Even, even. Rose. You're late for work, love. You need to go. Me, you sure. don't just stand there waving. Go to work. <laughs> Barlene, do see what? Do me, ba, shorg. Yeah. He doesn't seem to appreciate the severity of the situation. Rose, gonna go to work. Yeah, we're gonna put that away. Oh, she seems to be thinking about Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, literally, look, there's a picture of him in our thought bubbles. <laughs> yep, there you go. There you go. Yadaboo! Yadaboo! <laughs> How to get her inspired? Well, for one, she actually needs to do this. Ugh, so so! Right, she needs to prepare a meal herself. So, let's see if we can get her to do that. Grab a single serving for yourself, Rose. Right. I was going to say you'll come to your bed to go to sleep. Good point. Oh, fine. Math on the sofa. <sighs> Jabil. For you, Rose. I'm missing work. <laughs> You need to get going. Sineke! <laughs> Sawada! She's just not going anywhere, is she? What's the point of her having a job at all? <sighs> you need to go to work. Oh, 
Oh, I've got just a place for her to go and work. I'm gonna say I'm going to the bar. No, we're gonna send her on her own. I can't take kids into the bar. She needs to do this to get inspired for her job. She needs to mix drinks. Okay, first, we do a friendly introduction to this fella. Arogaba! <laughs> but, Rose, I actually want you to come inside the bar. Okay, there appears to be a toilet outside. So we're going to go and visit the bar. Actual and Mo is supposed to be the bartender. I'm not sure other members of the community would just happen by by themselves. So. We're going to see if we can actually get Rose to do part of what she needs inspiration for, for her job. Mm. So I'm going to have her go and tend the bar. Simike! <laughs> Sawada! To have people go into the toilet. Ah, Krikish and Pim. Oh, there's already someone yeah. working the bar. And Nerba Kosper. Okay, let's give him a friendly introduction. behind the bar. Yeah, 
there's three more people that going in. Practice making drinks. <laughs> ah, uh, <laughs> yes, fee maps. This is part of what her job so is. So <laughs> That doesn't look good. Get to know Gavin. is collecting more friends. There you go. Yeah, because I'm going to have her travelling on her own still. She's new neighbours to go and meet as well, see? Well, I'm gonna send her to meet Eminem. <laughs> See what he makes of a red person. Here's the door. Knock on the door. Huh. And there he is. Um, well, that's his trailer. 
but where is he? Where's he? Was this him outside? Hang on, who's that in the distance? I think that's him. No, it's not. Hang on. I'm not going to have her running after him. Alright, Rose, I brought you out here to meet Eminem. But, uh, it doesn't look like he's in. So, we'll go on our travels again. Okay, so let's try next door to him. Let's see if Twelve round and night are in. Sula. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gabba. <laughs> that was already there. Global bird. Huh. So. Get to know. Mm -hmm. See what Kimba. <laughs> ah. The tour. Virobi Sapino. Chinab. Uh. Balafoy. <laughs> Weibo! Who would do Chips. Chips. Wexy for Zunia. Nepia. Don't have Epi. The Beezy Pinoise and Wake Form, huh? Mm hmm. I don't know why their hair's disappeared, though. Sorbete. Splorab. Just so tough. Fabu. Abanu. Binesh. Palorm. Quofa. May boof. Jagnoosh. Lumbic Clunkus Essenoi. Ah. More people are in your phone book. So that's now Dot Brown and Marty McFly in the phone book, but still, she's going to travel on her own. Okay. Maybe not, no. Right, it's time to send her home.
I don't think there'll be any parents there for her to meet with the kids. And besides, she and Thomas have their own kid to try and make. Her going home, but this is her house, so she can just walk in. So it's time to have her getting something to eat. Well, she needs that skill. She works in a culinary career, which, by the way, she should be going to. Otherwise, there's no point in her having that career. I might have to see if I can look online with her and get her another job. So... gonna have this happening once and for all because I'm trying to see if I can get him to make a purple baby oh come on Maybe I'm trying to rush him into it. <laughs> yebs, yebs, Tambra.
See, what's he going to do? Orbit hmm. Mom. Nothing. Okay. Kenesoy. Okay, his hygiene seems to be a problem. So let's see if I can get him to come and have a shower. For now? And I can play as Rose again, see? Hey, <laughs> Kelna! Why do you stand there? Look, I'm telling him to go to the shower. And he's not doing it. Mom. <laughs> New lips. Stand there waiting. Uh, you told. Orbit. Now, if I can get him to go and... Shall be if... <laughs> Yorib. Uh, right, now, if I can get him to do what I want him to do... He's standing in the right room. <laughs> New lids. Oh, he want, He needs the <laughs> toilet. Yibs. Kunata. Then use. You. You're standing right by it. Where are you going? Your hygiene, your hygiene isn't actually taken care of yet. He's, he's just gonna leave it on the floor, right? How many times a day do you need to take the bloody toilet? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you to take a freaking shower. <sighs> Fine. Don't do what you're told. Hey. What about this? <laughs> he was already cooking a BLT. Now he's gonna cook something else.
Level one. Uh, I can get. If I can get him to come and try for a baby. Not right now, because I'm trying to get him to do something. Oh, God. A month. <sighs> Rose seems to be fiercely independent. <laughs> like, I don't even need to tell her to do much. She just does it on her own. Ah! <laughs> 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 Horn. Right, let's see if I can get them to do this. Jorna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, why are you still in your swimwear? Let's change his outfit. What do you want to listen to lullabies for? You've got a baby growing inside you. Uh, they're not interested in that at the moment. <laughs> okay.
If I can get him to woohoo. Fat chance. Right, I'm going to find her a new job. Because she doesn't seem to want her catering job. So... Why not make a... A tech guru. She has it right there in front of her to do her job, the inspiration stuff. Rose's newly acquired writing skill will allow her to enjoy the benefits of an expanded account. So for the tech guru, huh. now let's get her to practice programming. Well, that's not what it requires. What's the press? <laughs> so she said it says to have him play a game. So play Sims Forever. Why does this keep turning itself back on? He's got work in 37 minutes and he's asleep, the lazy ass. Now you need to play a game. Thomas, you've got to go to work. He's gone to work. Uh, huh. Okay, that's good. Uh, Rose still has plenty of time before she needs to go to work. She needs to re recoup her energy. Oh. So I'm going to send her to sleep. But she doesn't look tired. Well, luckily, her job doesn't start for three days. Ah. Huh. Woke the fresh. <laughs> Yeah, 
Browse Simpedia. Work hard. Huh. Ah. So. Ha ha. So bow. Mm-hmm. Recently, the star player has been specifically bossing Thomas D around. It's becoming aggravating and upsetting. Should he confront them or just deal with it? Now, oh, be tough. He's working hard to put food on his table. Socialize with co workers. Okay, she's reached programming level three. Looks like I've moved her into the right career. She's getting tired. Huh? Is she? Yes, yeah, she is. Alright, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a revolt. But no bay. You're working yourself too hard. Go bid. Oh, 
Serena. Just go back to sleep, Rose. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you get up. Oh Thomas has been promoted to hot room attendant. Thomas D has been promoted to hot room attendant. You are now making a big three bucks an hour. Three millions an hour. For a grand total of nineteen per hour. Okay. That's good. But what's not good for him is he's tired. And he needs a wash. So if I can get him to take a shower, and then I'll get him into bed. Yeah, what do you think I'm trying to do, Tom? This will probably be the only time you can get him to do what you want him to do. Maybe not. Well, the man actually needs his sleep. So if I can get him to go to bed after this. Sleep. <laughs> Fumbo! Yard. <laughs> yes, Tom. Go to bed. Turb <laughs> Where's he going? He's just got home from work and he's going swimming. What he needed to go to sleep. Rose has gone to sleep again. Right, if I don't get him to have a shower, he's gonna get dirty. And if I don't get him to go to sleep, he's gonna pass out. Whichever comes first. Trips. He doesn't seem to want to do any of that stuff. Um, any of the stuff he actually he doesn't want to do it. Woo! 
Yeah, because you need a shower. sake. Right, do I need to put the shower? No, I can't do that. Let's just return to live mode. <sighs> Look, Thomas, if you don't wash, you'll get dirty. And if you don't go to sleep, you'll pass out. Just do as you're told. Uh, shorg. <laughs> Ox nice. Goodness sake, man, do as you're bloody told. <sighs> right, if I can get Rose to go and do something else. Like taking a brisk shower. Roby, Shorg. What? Neither of them does it. Oh, for goodness sake! Did they just do that on their own then? Needs are telling me if you need something to eat. Oh, she needs to have fun, she needs something to eat, she needs to be sociable. So she's gonna go and get something to eat now. Has reached cooking level two. So Rose learned the recipes for eggs and toast, BLT, chips and salsa. <laughs> oh, Kinawa! So she can now cook herself more food. Yeah. <laughs> Fun boy. Well, you need to go and take care of your hygiene then, don't you? Well, if I can't get you to do it, oh, oh. you to. Oh, oh. this is Watch the new. Then you do it yourself. Let's <sighs> <Hey. sighs> You're a dirty oh, man. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't take care of yourself, you're gonna die. Go and uh, have a bloody. Uh, no. Ah! 
Absida. Right, what can I afford? Instant hygiene. be in here now, won't it? If I place it... No, I'm gonna have him drinking it. If he won't go to the shower... So I'm gonna have to use an instant hygiene potion on him. So... Yeah. As for the energy side of things, you can cook yourself something to eat. How about some pancakes, yeah? Huh. <sighs> it says you need to eat. I've just revitalized his hey. hygiene, and now because of that, Tibzow. he's all burnt again. Tibbs Abgor. Yeah. Tiny. Now he's way grungy. That's the second time that's happened. Right. Oh, uh, uh, so, 
you need freaking Can't really do that. <sighs> He's going to try cooking again. What's he trying to do? Kill himself? Hang on a minute. You know what it's time for? A kid's bedroom. Where's the entrance to this room? There isn't one, so I need to put a door on. Milestone complete. They don't even have a child yet, so... If I can get him to stop doing what he's doing here... ...and drink an energy juice... Wait, what's she going to bed there for? Claim? Tom's already claimed the bed. But I need them to try for a baby. Oh my, where's their sofa gone? I'm gonna need to buy them a new sofa. There you go. Yeah, except they don't have any kids yet, so they need to become parents. So if we can just do this. Ooh, so, so. Yabastane? Huh, a Gorba. <laughs> Try for a baby. Oh! <laughs> Yad. Oh, oblish. Oh,
Okay, Rose has 300 of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to give her instant fun. Scroll down. Instant hygiene. Which we'll get twice as we can uh, revitalize them both at the same time. And she's in the pool, isn't she? And now there is a small case of all of these being in our inventory. We need Rose to drink that. And that. And then we need dear, dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear. Oh. Right. Now, can we get them to try for a baby? Maybe this might entice them. If I put another door on this side of their room. Let's see now, shall we? No, because they're both asleep. Oh, finally, he's having a shower. About oh, time. A brutal? Hopefully, after we've done this, I can get them to uh, 
cry for that baby. Yes, Marta? Sabave. Oh. Yes. <sighs> gone to sleep. Now I need Thomas to come and take a steamy shower. Clavvy, cool me out. Is that fleet, really? What's Thomas going to sleep? Open? He needs to go to work. Uh, oh, please. She's an Oba. Uh. We're there. Oh. And she has to tell Thomas. Sure, sure. Gribbix. Wonderful. Ah, go on. Uh. Right. Thomas has to go to work. Ooh. Rose, on the other hand. Thomas has gone to work. Uh, Rose still has two days before her job even starts. Okay, Rose. You don't want to put yourself or your baby in danger. So be careful. Not to start a fire. Oh, <laughs> Triple door.
Okay. Okay, guys. What we're gonna what we're gonna do is we are going to call it here for this episode. Hi, Rose. It's me, Lily. Do you want to come over today? Okay, so we'll just send Rose over to Lavender Terrace and this is she's friends with every single one of the Barretts. Okay. Actually, uh, kind of a funny thing for a kid to want to play with a young adult. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do an impression. Free bono. 
Um... Okay, I'll have to make this a house party. Guess we can't make it a baby shower. An entertainer. We don't know who that's going to be yet. A mixologist. And a caterer. And select the venue. Oh. Okay. Um... We actually can't pick anywhere else. Let's have it there. Okay. Oh, I hate to burst your bubble, but we actually need men at this party. So, so much for that. Time to go home.
So I was going to think of 10 sim. Should be partying. Okay. Now there is actually someone in. But I'm actually going... going to plan a social event to happen here. I'm going to have Tom do the hosting. Uh, Rose lives in the house, so she'll be there by default. House party. Invite a couple of kids. So that's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think a party of ten, no, eleven, twelve. Yeah, and him as well, that's, okay, that's 15 people required. We're not going to bring in a mixologist, but we are going to bring in an entertainer, and we are going to bring in a caterer and we're gonna have it here so he's the host of the party he needs to be home so Now we just need the guests to start arriving. Broke is say, Schumbig. 
Yeah, this will be a great place for the children to actually meet each other. Conkers will look. Conkers. How? Danda Wallake. Friendly introduction. Oh, look at that. Lily's going swimming. You don't gossip with children. The music to be playing. Yes, they are. <laughs> Your bleak bokana, our great bokana. Hmm. Ah! Folk of Reed, Meshka, Freddy Pipsa. Oh, I think we're going to make some of this thing, do we? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Okay. Ah. Alright, it's over, everyone's leaving because I can't do one element of the party. So soon! Ah, Rogaba! Sunny. Huh. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Um, we are going to call it here for this episode. Oh. Join me for the next episode. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome. To another episode of The Life of Thomas. This is episode six. And oh. about in 11 hours, Rose enters her second trimester. And here... We are actually going to plan a social event. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go for another house party. And uh, Tom's going to be the host. And obviously, uh, Rose is on the list straight away. My character, James, Millie, Roscoe, Lily, Romana. Clyde, Bay. Harper. Quite, Barry and Ian. Right. Entertainer. We actually need to meet more people so we can hire them to do this stuff. Mixologist, we need one. And we need one caterer. Now we need um, a place to host it. Now we've invited the Barretts to the party. So...
it only makes sense to have it being hosted at their house. So, So yes, we're just traveling there now. Hopefully this will be more successful than last time. Here we go. So, okay. <laughs> this is a bid. to have Tom making more friends. So... Before they all walk away... Friendly. Oh no, they're just getting settled it. They're just getting started. Now oh, they've already been introduced. So the next step for friendly is to get to know. So we can have Oh no, that's his wife Um, Yabasane? His pregnant wife Um Was their house? Naguna one, one one. Get to know Romana. Friendly introduction to Ian because they haven't introduced <laughs> each other. They're not introduced yet, so. Oh, 
friendly introduction to Lily, because we haven't met her yet either. Uh, friendly introduction to Very, because he hasn't met her yet. Zatorb! Haha, so so! Okay, everyone's convening in the living room. James is already dancing. We need to get to know him. Oh, I'm gonna say this is gonna turn out successful. If you're gonna dance with anyone, let it be your wife. <laughs> well, I guess not. Has he not yet actually become an acquaintance of? No, don't have him dance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get to know Roscoe. <laughs> Okay, now have the Sim have the Sims listen to the stereo at the Our same time. Alright, there's Faye right here. Introduce yourself to her. What's the point of this party? Good choice. Oh, <laughs> They've eaten the food. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, eat cake. Umnate Unga. Hey, Wimbo. You're Swabo, you know. Right. <laughs> Who's he gonna crack a joke with? Oh, yeah, to Uh, someone <laughs> other than his wife. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can tell her a gross joke, she won't be too impressed, will she? But you know. Oh, there's Harper. He hasn't met her yet. So, friendly introduction to Harper. They're <laughs> 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 supposed to do this together with the guests. So that's <laughs> one joke <laughs> told. Zatorb. <laughs> right, okay. Russia Parbalay. So, to do this, you need to go funny. Tell her a joke about aliens. Harper's sad. So, let's become more friendly with Harper. Ask her about school. Hey boy! Cleaver! Yes, Russia! Oh, no, Rob! Oh, boy, I'm shattered! Okay! For some! How about. getting to know her? Woohoo! Before sharing a joke with someone else. 
There you go. Ah. A beanie? Huh, Have some kiss. Oh, okay. Now you're talking. Well, I'm Caro Sambisi. Clem. Venusa! No, it's not a hug you're after. Ah. It's a kiss. Ah. And it, they're Rafa? not the blowing kiss. Ah. <laughs> Right, yeah. come and kiss your wife. You gotta do this three times. Oh my! Well, the party's almost over, and we haven't done any of these yet. Rose needs the toilet. Uh, so we'll switch play on to her. So she can go and use the toilet. She is pregnant, after all. Switch play back on to Thomas. She also needs the toilet. Impression for her. Okay. Harper. Uh-huh. Don't have you standing around looking sad. Oh. So let's get more friendly. <laughs> Tell her an engaging story. Ah, no be. Okay, that will be the party over. They've eaten one bit of cake, so they've done that once. That seems kiss, I think it's gone right down the pan. Dag, shufflet. Balafoy, yeah. Right, girl Rose, we need you to come out of the bathroom. So why don't you, uh... Yeah, the party's not over yet. Ah, no, we know. But Tom, your husband needs the toilet, so we can get him to come in and you to come out. Okay, Tom. Kim and Your turn. Slap shoe. We'll behave though for you. Sit chim. Nothing else. Get to know his face. We're not going to be rude to the other guests. For no bay. Fatal peluche. Who shot the floor? Wow. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are we doing here? Quasha Zabris. Uribe Dance. Ah. Quasha Zabrima. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. What's going on here? Yes, yes. Tom's tired. 
Ah, no be. Right, is there a place you can drop the kid? <laughs> Although you shouldn't be kipping at a party you're hosting. So, no. If we can get him re-energized. <laughs> Get him oh, to eat Lisa. something. Ah. Free bono. Ah. <laughs> 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 okay, are we gonna trust him to cook something here? Dom Sabuna, Arbs, Aga Aga, Zerpa! Right, have Finn's kid. You're Drinka. I don't think you can do this with the thing that's not your wife. So... Okay, Tom, come and show your wife some love. But I'll do this three times. Okay. Sabavia Vor. Got to do that twice more. Romance. Killing. More choices. Kiss. Okay, now we need to knock the third time off the list. Now don't be silly, he's not going to go off and kiss someone else. You're his wife. Oh. Yeah, it's a public display of affection. There you go. And yeah, doing it in front of Lily. What do you think she's going to do? She's a kid. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, there's only two more goals to complete. Let me see if we're all the teams doing this together. Okay, Tom. If we can get all these people out of the way, you can get the toilet. Okay. This cake they'd speak of, where is it? Chinosa. I can't see it anywhere. Don't yell at her. Nice. Bonsa. 
That's the party over. So everyone should start leaving soon. So if we turn this off. <laughs> dag, dag. Make one more use of the toilet. Now I'm interested to know, has Tom managed to make friends with anyone? Uh, yeah. A few people. But none of the people I brought him here to make friends with. Sadly enough. Oh, that's fly. Okay. Dolly Usenet, Smishy Yafana, Wixana Zarspa, Usenet Pandole. Get to know him. Oh, someone's very angry. Floyd is. I wonder why. Could it be his wife, perhaps? Right, it's time to send everyone home. Reba! We'll send Thomas and Rose home. I'm guessing everyone else will just leave when they're ready. Rose enjoyed herself. Right, let's see if Rose can calm Fly down. No. She needs to go home to bed. Thomas has already gone home, so we just need to send Rose home. You can't play any of these other characters, so just go. Yeah. Oh.
Okay, so now that's Rose home, and she needs to go to sleep. Now, of course, she actually needs to claim her side of this bed. Okay. In a day, she reaches her third trimester. <sighs> Okay, that will have to be it for the house party chapter. And stay tuned for the next episode as things go back to normal around here. Until then, bye. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Life of Thomas. This is episode 7, and we pick up directly where we left off from the end of the last episode. Now, last episode, we had a house party at the Barrett residence at Lavender Terrace. So we're now back at the Tank Engine residence. <laughs> Thomas is in the shower, Rose is in bed asleep. As you might realise, as you might not realise, but remember from la, 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 la. two episodes ago, Ooh. Rose uh -huh. became pregnant. Now I'm actually trying to mix the two, the two colours together to make a purple baby. And three guesses, you know what the name's going to be if it's a girl. Uh, yeah. huh. Yops, Sabave, Bahira. Okay, he needs the toilet, so we're going to send him to the bathroom. He used the toilet. Rose wakes up, also Stevie, needs to go. Ah. And you know what? I think it's important that your pregnant wife goes first. So, yep. There you go. Oh my days. How long has that been there? We're not going to give any Sims food poisoning. Not as parenthood draws near. What's he doing? Oh, he's cleaning everything else that's spoiled up. Well, he was going to sit and eat it there for a second. To breathe. Panic over. But I'm actually liking 
the job I've got Hi, going for food. Thomas right here. Oh, oh. If I could put an extra room in it, it'd be a gym. Because the only fitness he can do now is... Yeah. Sit up, stretch and push-ups. Large. So, I'm going to have him doing... Oh, wait, he's cooking. Um, I don't think we want Come another on. fire to break out. Stop what you're doing, go and do some exercises. Okay, we need to distract Thomas from the cooker as much as we can, so do some sit-ups now, Thomas. You want that promotion at work or not? And chop it all off. Now for some stretching. <sighs> Although what's actually going to boost his fitness level up is some home gym equipment. <laughs> so... I think I should probably see if I can actually get in that. Mm. And he's going to try cooking again. Oh... Right, he should be resuming what he's already started to cook. Oh. Please, no more fires. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He's distracting himself from what he was doing. To go swimming. By the looks of things. No, just a raw... Oh, Is that it? To, to go into the kids' room and... Uh, hmm. To read with his wife. Right. Uh, we're going to see if we can put in a home gym for the fella. So he can carry on with his working out. That's a newsroom. Do we have a home gym? Ah. Uh, if we do here, um, if we do, we have to wait till we've made a bit more money. But no, we don't. So, bang goes the idea of putting in a home gym. Deconstruction, no. We don't need a commercial kitchen because neither Rose nor Thomas is Oh, here we go. Pump Pop Palace. That's a home gym. That's what we need. But we need more money for it first. So... We'll put that in as soon as we can afford it. Mm -hmm. 
Thomas. Ah, aren't you going to continue with this? Actually, it'd be good if he didn't because he could set the place on fire again. Pardon me. Pardon me. boy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna switch characters back to Rose. Sixteen hours until third trimester. Fifteen hours. Yes, because we've got the time right here. Okay, Tom, if you're not going to cook, at least... Okay, Rose is going to clean it up. Even though she didn't get it out. Yeah, you're going to waste food before you've even eaten it. Or before you've even cooked it, why keep it out? Hmm. Watch. Oh. <laughs> Tib Tib. <sighs> right. We are going to fast forward this a bit. Rose has actually proven herself to be an adequate cook, but I wouldn't condone her cooking when she's very pregnant. Okay. Right. There's your distraction. And uh, Thomas is asleep, otherwise I'd have him take over with the cooking. Only to then nearly burn the house down again, right. <sighs> Typical. We have a broken electronic, we can just replace that for 75. Yep. She's going back to her cooking. And once again, she successfully cooked something without <laughs> putting the place of <laughs> Is asleep. Now, mm -hmm. we're not going to plan another social event, but all the people she knows, which is just about everyone in the neighborhood, I'm going to have her texting one of them. Oh, bless her. Okay, this is where it automatically fasts forward because they are both asleep. And the stereo could break that way. So let's turn it off. Okay, Rose has got work in about an hour.
and she's got work now, so off she goes. So Tom's the only potentially awkward conversation. Rose sees that the next customer in the chat queue is an old flame of hers. And we're going to ignore that because we don't want anything to get awkward between her and Tom. So... And it looks like... That's gonna go off. Oh, frick a blue in. Yep. If he doesn't clean it up, and so is that. Oh, you notch. Well, only he needs to eat one of them. What about that? That looks like it's going spoiled. Okay, now what we're going to do with Rose here is uh, okay, now they're both at work, so we need time to fast forward for one of them to come home. Um, t-shirt time. It's laundry day yet again. Thomas D enters the laundry room to get started on his droll task, only to discover a strange sim laying among the dirty laundry. Thomas D calls out for security, but the sim gets up and dashes out the door. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm just, I'm just gonna have to chase him then, okay. As now both sims are at work. Looks like that's worked. Thomas D rushes down the hall after the fleeing fan. He reaches out for their arm, so catches on to Rose's home from work. And she's going to have to because, well, they're going to have to because, well, they're about to become parents. At least they can still get paid for being on leave. A day. Well, we need it to be more than that. Really, I mean... How much longer does she have before... Popping it out? Oh! It, yeah, nearly there. Yeah, I had to do that because it would have been awkward otherwise, and we don't want things to get awkward between the parents-to-be. Because we don't want to show that sort of thing in front of their kids. She really has to pee. I'm gonna have to stop her from the shower. 
before she pees in there. Oh. Okay, Tom, work hard, my friend. Although I should really bring him home early, but that doesn't add much more pay. Bring him home now. Uh, I'm okay. Now she has to have a shower again. <laughs> yeah, their child could be born at any time. So while Rose is in the shower, Tom is just going to do the mopping off. Thomas is going to go for a swim. And um, Rose is getting into bed. So, okay. Rose is asleep. Thomas is swimming. Like that baby could come at any moment now. Oh, Thomas, what are you doing? Change your outfit, man. Uh, ooh. Don't set the place on fire again, whatever you do. Please don't. Oh, Grubel. Thank goodness for that. Oh, Lasna! Right, aren't you going to have that? What are you just putting it on the floor for? <laughs> mm. 
We could keep that playing. Uh -huh. Really, we had a house party in the last episode. Here, we want to focus on you guys becoming parents. Why does that keep turning yourself on even though I don't want it on? Excuse me. He's going back into the kids' room. Ah, <laughs> oh, You mean no beam to Jella? That's what I said. That's grungy, that needs cleaning. Well, not now. She's sleeping. <sighs> However... <sighs> Thomas now knows all these people, including Roscoe. He can text you. So... Well, I can't invite him to hang out. Just a small matter of something else they need in the house that I thought they did have. Hmm. If I can put it back in.
Oh, crap. How did I overlook that? It's too, it's too small a space. Maybe if I move... Okay. All is not lost. If I move that into a bigger room, perhaps. Yeah, sorry kid, but your room will now double as a study. Because we need to have somewhere for a computer to go. And there you go. <laughs> and the room it used to be in is no longer available space for it. Boy, Hobby Ray Baynu. Drink the water. <gasps> clean the floor. And for goodness sake, clean this up. Pardon me. Senex Alpha. He doesn't have to go to work until after the baby's born. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get him an extra day of family leave. So, oh. Rose has become playable. Uh, Indaki. Let's, let's Indaki. get us to the toilet. And she needs something to eat. He could go into labour at any moment. Whoa! Hi, James Barrett as a caterer. <laughs> I know what I'm doing for the next house party. <laughs> right, what should I give her to eat? There you go. Fiorba, <laughs> Fiumo. Uh, Rose. Carry on with it. You know, it's not going to get done if you don't. I guess we could do that. So to do that, we have to come here 
and no no how do we do that okay Be friendly with Thomas D. Well, he is your husband. So it'd be silly not to. So we want friendly. And we want to brighten his day. Bathroom. Chat with someone. Uh, yeah, that can do. Let's see. That we can do even. Who do you want to chat with? Uh, why don't you chat with a friend who's already a mum? Chop, lock, and super. <laughs> Talk about cooking. Oh, okay. Sick of foos. Ashi. Lamita Noonkim. Shape of Lanchi. And Fabi Frenoy. Ebony Ishkawan. Ooh, says the bay. Mipwim Rimble. The Koya Shape of. Uh. How do we do that? When that's not an option. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> it's about cooking. Ah, what Find a collectible. It's from being a geek. It's like I've made a personality. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> On the wrong side. Can I change a trade? Uh oh. Oh, hello. <sighs> Okay, video gaming level two. <laughs> I thought that might have been it then. Why is she watching it up in the bathroom sink? We've got a perfectly good kitchen sink out here. We're having her do all this work and she could give birth at any moment.
Kobe. <laughs> He's laughing in his sleep. That could be dangerous. <laughs> See what Kimba? A tour. Mm. To weave. <laughs> He's going for the shower. Clavi, cool me out. And Rose is going to the toilet. Oh dear. This could be embarrassingly awkward. Oh, no prize. Oh. Right, Rose, now. Get out of there before he goes. better person to hug huh. than your husband when he gets into the room. Mm. Make a friend. Sooner. <laughs> well, no. I don't think it would be a good idea to woohoo when you're already very heavily pregnant. <laughs> oh, Sha Par Baleo. Kanj enjoy. Gaba Wooni Hish. Parsip Neeps. Sernoy. Or soy. Sidhu. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Yips. Shem. Spala Gorban Nehi. Plineet? Brogi. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah I think I've heard them doing this in Brett a completely no. wrong order, but... First, the they are now the good Yama friends. Sombra. Right, Bunkaru. they've got their husband and Don't wife and soon to be parents. I should have had them going through the friendship phase first. Okay, she's going to take a nap. So I'll change play back over to Thomas, who's cooking. Let's hope it's not disastrous. No, it's not. He's more careful. Oh, oh, you have a horn. He's more careful 
when he does it on his own. If you tell him to do it, uh, it sets the place ablaze. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Rosebud. Right, he has some new rewards. Or oh, he has points for new rewards. He has 250 points. Well, I think we're just going to let them build up for now. Until we get into the... Uh, higher point scale to get better rewards. Shameless and Steel Bladder. That sounds brilliant. Uh, fertile. That's kind of what they are now, but... We don't want it to become a professional slacker. And we don't want the needs no one quality. Never tired. And uh, Forever Fool, those sound like good qualities, but they're at the higher end of the scale, so yes, we definitely need <laughs> to build up the reward points for that. Dance to stereo music, okay. Punch. Ah, <laughs> Oh, we got mail. Well, Thomas is dancing. Let's pay the bills. Because we can't ignore that. Well, we are waiting. For that to happen. <laughs> we'll just clean that up because it's not going to get eaten. Okay. 
Now she needs to hug someone. And it's gonna hug her husband despite the fact <laughs> he's dancing. How did she find a collectible though? Find a new collectible somewhere in the neighborhood. Collectibles can be found by looking under logs, digging under rocks, and using the observatory. Well, it's Gorsh the first thing you're playing Rose right now. Oh, we'll be in the room. Happy for noise. Seven. Oh, my. Okay, they're both asleep, so we're going to fast forward the time. With the music still playing. That's how the stereo can get broken, you know. Okay, Rose, are you ready to have this baby, or...? Where are you going? Oh, she's going on the computer. Meet someone new. Ah. Huh. Rose is in labour. Yeah. Alright, quick, quick, quick. We have to get her over here. She's gonna have the baby. It's a girl. Okay. So I'm going to name her Violet <laughs> Marsh Tank Engine. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, Violet Marsh, I know. Violet Marsh engine. I've got to see, I've got to see that up close. I've got to see it, come on. Oh, um, I can't actually see that at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, no, grab a black ape! Press me! Quick, quick, quick. It's store the flame. I think it might have worked. But we're not gonna know that for sure for top for sure yet. Okay, that's the money Rose has earned from the family leave. Violet Marsh engine. <laughs> right, now I've got to get a closer look at this baby. What colour is it? It looks quite purple. Where's she falling asleep? Oh, on the sofa. Well, you can't actually play as the baby. Let's wait for her to wake up. Okay. Now I'm just going to uh, age her up here. It's true. Babies don't actually age up. So we age her into a toddler. Sorry, they don't actually do anything. So we'll age her into a toddler. We'll make her angelic. And... Oh, my. Now we can actually see what colour her skin is. <laughs> uh, Let's get a good look at her. She's purple. <laughs> Blue man, made the red woman, creates purple offspring. But we don't actually have a toddler's bed for her at the moment. <laughs> So let's just let her go around and discover. Where's she going? Right. can't go on this bed because she's too small. So we're going to have to put a toddler's bed in. Um, yeah. So, objects by room. Beds. A toddler's bed. Right. There's something else because you need a potty train. You need to potty train a toddler, don't you? So there you go. Okay.
Canoe. All right. Of course, now we can have the the mom here, Rose, actually act her um, interacting with her kids. Um. Okay, these are default outfits. That's her everyday outfit. That's what she's in now. That's her formal. That's her nightwear. And this is her party wear. So now we're not going to change her outfit. So where's she going? Potty train violet. Violet to dance. This would be a good way to communicate. Um, this would be a good way to interact with her. Let's see if we can get Thomas to join in on the fun. Because this should be something. They, they, they should do as a pair. Oh, Accident on the potty. Sinike! <laughs> Sawada! <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Should be something else in this room that there isn't.
and Blippa. Have a yabble horn, huh? Right. Tell her a story. <laughs> Let's see to the story. <laughs> Go on. Oh, you call a father. Oh, yes. Walla K. Uh huh. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Before we hear for this episode, we'll see you in the next one. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, Anji Chilo. Right. Ooh. So let's see if he can have a go at potty training now. <laughs> What's the matter? Kabuni. Yops, Sabave, Bahira, Baya Baya. Sakuni <laughs> You can do it, Violet. Right, Violet should have been in bed ages ago, so why is she not? Doing exercises on your daughter's bedroom floor, what are you thinking? If we can grab her oh, before she wanders into the street. Something else you need to do. You need to read her to sleep. Oh, Larkum. Let's turn this off. She'll never get to sleep otherwise.
Oh, you're going to watch her sleep, or are you going to come away, Rose? <laughs> it is. Well, now you deserve to have your rest. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> because you don't have to sit there, or stand there even, and watch Byla sleep. You know, to be a good mom, you're going to, aren't you? <laughs> right, let's see if I can get Rose to come to bed. You must be wanting to go to sleep yourself, right? Or are you just happy to stand there and watch Byla sleep? Yep, she's going to be going to bed. But I'm not going to have her keeling over on Byla's bedroom floor. So, until she complies with what I'm telling her to do, I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, so she's not going to go to bed. And they can still hire me as a caterer. <laughs> <laughs> or James as a caterer. Yes, the character's based on me, but anyway. Wild of Marsh Engine. Sounds like a character from the actual Thomas Tank <laughs> Engine show. Violet the Marsh Engine.
Okay. Well, at least have a nap, yeah? <laughs> you play, just want to stand there and watch your daughter sleep? Put in your own health at risk? She's hungry. Okay, she needs something to eat, so she needs to go and, uh... Oh. Okay. We'll just get rid of that. And then we can actually have her doing something for herself. Um, let's give her some bacon and egg. Uh, one serving. Well, it looks like she's gonna go off and do... Ah, oh, okay, she's just gonna sit on Violet's bed and read a book. She's gonna read Violet to sleep. Despite the fact Violet's already asleep. Bobby Ponceal. <laughs> no floopy for this. Oh dear. Bep the tame. Acquire the imagination skill. Toddlers with the ima with imagination playing their own world. Close the Imagination skills will be toddlers to boom. read and create a fantastical worlds for their toys. Gain imagination skill by playing with toys mm -hmm. and dolls. Listening to music or looking at toddler books. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no one here. To take care of Violet. So I'm gonna have to have her taking another day of family leave. So she missed about you threw her. Blood of Wolfa. Redoy you breath. Although I could have just hired a nanny to come and take care of her. There's some more music playing here. Well, that's gonna wake Violet if we uh, turn it, if we don't turn it off, because she's still asleep, see? I need to buy her some more toys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, we don't want to wake her up. So, uh, we don't... Actually, um... When does he have work? Two days. <laughs> so actually, there would have been someone here to take care of Violet. If Rose had gone to work... 
Thomas still would have been here. Oh, no, boo, You need to, you need to. I think we should probably, uh, wake her up. <laughs> Because she slept the morning away. Okay. Uh, it's time to feed Violet. Oh, a gazarby. Oh, a gazarby. Oh, bomb a doy. No. No, no, we need the, uh, yeah, we need toddler care. For Logie. But we can't give her food. Oh, Shannon Madoy. Oh, my. Are you... Are you kidding me? Hmm. Ah. Look, ah. none of those options are there. Ah. Logan Plotso. That's because we have, we have to buy a high chair. <sighs> okay. Sorry, Violet, but we need to put a high chair in for you before we can feed you. I, uh, I forgot about that. Now we can feed Violet. Okay. Ah. <laughs> so we need to I give food move. to Violet. Ah. Yes. For Bay. Land for Hazi, y'all. And why should be failing her parenthood? Be allowing ah. your child to starve. You don't want that. So, okay, place food. Uh, let's give her a ham and cheese sandwich. Thank God. Uh, after that, we'll give her a drink. And we'll give her apple juice to drink. What are you putting it down there for? Okay, Thomas. <sighs> How the heck do we place the food on the high chair? Give food. Right. Let's try this again. Ham and cheese sandwich. Because she needs uh, something to eat. Uh, and while you're doing that, Tom's in charge of cleaning up.
Looks like she's enjoying that. Yay, drink! <laughs> Which parent should I call over? Not other parents at work. Well, okay, it's gonna be the dad then. Okay, here we go. Help. Okay. Let's play as Tom here. And what does she need? Ah, you navi. No, play as Tom. But what does the girl need? Uh, to Reef. We don't have a bathtub, do we? So we can't give her a bath. One thing we can do though, there's a couple of things we can do. Uh, do we give her praise? Has she done well? No, we're putting her back in the high chair. Is that what we're doing? Teach her to talk. Ho oh, ho! Lasna! Kabili! Uh. Samba yelps? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spenka. Bevo. Uh huh. Ah. <laughs> Where is he going? And we don't want to be mean to her. Toddler care. Nopsa. Nopsa limita. Ugh. She hasn't done anything wrong. But she's sad because she needs amusement. Okay. And neither parent's doing anything about it. Uh, so. Help. Uh, comfort. Okay, so she needs amusement, this little one. She wasn't looking for comfort, she was looking for amusement. So, all the ways you can amuse a toddler. Read her a book. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Oh, yep, Snazzy. Ah, baba. At the tour. Master. Uh huh. <laughs> Yibs. Yamo, mm. yamo. Mm hmm. Me boof makosa, pull a knife. There we go. Oh. I'll get it from your mom, kid. I don't think it's going to be long before I actually make Violet a child. Guys. Yamo, yamo. Thomas is now up to cooking level four. Okay, Rose. Needs to use the toilet herself. Yeah, well done, Violet. Uh huh. Oh, you had a You had a You know, I think that deserves some praise. Yibs. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Another reward. Uh, like another reward point, so... Let me... Rose now has 675 reward points. Okay, let's see. I think 
I, I don't think we want the insta large. The potion of youth, maybe, but they're all quite young at the moment. Three services, but she doesn't have enough of that. Okay. Now if we go to Thomas quickly, what rewards does he have? He has 800 reward points. So we can already go a bit higher for him. So what we're going to do... Is well, okay. We can only take that as high as the Instaline for Thomas. Right. We'll wait till they've got more. Ah, <laughs> What the heck is that? Bins overflowing. Okay, we need an outdoor trash can now, so we'll just do we'll do just that. We'll make it a wheelie bin. And no. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's yeah. not... Who's that? Some random person's just walked in and decided to help me with the rubbish. Webinabe! <laughs> ah, it's Giovanni Downing. She's a caterer. Ah, Turinga. Right, I. I could set her to work. But we're not having a party here. Swarspakatsuni, Pratza, Skansas, Wabara Zemre, Charib, Wasaba Gorpina, Tapuim Nabatane, Ruvin. Hey! 
<laughs> New Lutz. Uh. Uh. Oh, man. Rosebud. Well, you give up so quickly, you. don't you? Uh. Oh, clean that up. And then we'll be able to continue with the chocolate cake. Now cooking level five. Right, we want to uh Herbs, Herbs, Tambra. Oh. Okay, we uh we can't have birthday candles yet. So we'll put it away. Okay, we'll call it here for this episode, guys, and join me for the next episode soon. Until then, bye.